wore the same hoodie last time. I didn't. The blue version is exactly the same. Well, it's not the same, is it? I feel like an Uchiha when I wear it. <laughs> Why are you showing off in front of the nose of Hi, my name is Jessica. Hi, my name is Steven. And this is... Attack oh. on Snap. Snap! Alright, today we're trying three chips. Uh, Steven picked out the two Lay's chips. You've probably seen them in the store before. Um, they're the Do Me a Flavor nice. promotional campaign flavored chips. What's funny about these is they remind me of like the weird Japanese flavors. It's just like our shitty food manufacturers finally decided to get on the fucking routine where they just try new flavors that are seasonal or rare. Yeah. One of them's the wasabi ginger, which is apparently the 2014 winner. Sweet. That one is. Bacon and Mac. Which isn't a winner. I think it's this year's, one of this year's contenders to be the new Yumi Flavor winner. I think this was out last year, too. I remember I had it before, I think. Anyway. Alright, we don't know. Should be fun. The other one, provocatively titled, Finger Licking Ribs. Finger fucking licking. <laughs> Will you lick? Your fingers? Stop. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Alright. Uh, which one are you going to start with? I'll do that one last. Alright. Let's do this first. Let's spike. Mm. Let me hit that. Definitely a buy. It's very cheddar y. Not just cheese, but definitely cheddar. And it's definitely kind of bacon y. Like, it's not just hickory smoke added, but it's like they figured out how to powder a pig oh, into is. a slurry and then shoot that onto a potato product and fry it. So that's pretty fun. These are big fucking chips. Is this weird? Man, that was pretty big. Look at this shit. This is a whole piece of a potato. They do I, mean, good. I, don't, I don't eat very many chips. I don't. Bird wants some. Eat your dinner. No, eat it. Guys, it's such a whore. Pretty good. And it's not. Too much, like a, Doritos are a lot of shit powdered onto a chip. I love chip. Doritos though. I know, but this isn't too much. Alright, it's pretty good. It's kind of like eating breakfast. To me, it feels like I'm eating breakfast. Because I cover yeah, everything in cheese and bacon. Like cheesy eggs and bacon. Um, that's pretty good. It's fucking delicious. I get 8 out of 10 for me. Seven, seven, five out of ten. Seventy-five. Seventy-five out of ten is <laughs> within our scale of uh, measurement. Seven out of ten. It is. I thought it was gonna be more burst flavor in my mouth. We don't need burst sometimes. Sometimes you just need to let it let it ride in easy. Let it go. Ugh. Oh my god! What's happening? It smells like Christmas a little bit. Christmas. Or you get in there and tell me if that smells like a. Christmas forest. Christmas forest? Can you smell the Christmas forest? Don't eat it yet, just smell. I don't know what that means, Christmas forest. <laughs> I don't know what it means either. <laughs> Are you alright? I don't know, this is the weirdest thing that's happened to me in a while. What's a Christmas forest? <laughs> it's like a bunch of cedar trees, but they're like, sort of... There's that extra hint of spices that you don't know about. <laughs> In the forest? And Indian people all went into the forest together. It's pretty good. Just like a weird version of barbecue chips. I don't know what it has to do with ribs. I guess at the very end, I get like... Do you get like an extra weird umami thing that happens? It's something. It's other than... It's not regular barbecue. It's like vinegar or like whatever the... Whatever they use for beef jerky. Apparently there's natural grill flavor, so they harvest the grills from the wild. And <laughs> 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 what was that? I just imagine like a grill like being shot and it's like the And the bird fucking ruins the story. <laughs> and the grill's like attacking with like just like Shuffling away and then they shoot it. Uh, it. Too salty. That's what happened in the bag. No, I think it was a Christmas 
for it. I think this is too salty. Do you think it's too salty? No, maybe a little salty. bit. The flavor's okay. It's really good. Regular barbecue's better. I'm gonna give it a 5 out of 10. It's okay. I uh, said it doesn't taste more like pork product. I that one it. tastes a lot like pork. Definitely no bacon's happening. Yeah, it didn't hit me at first, but I'll give this it a one, 6. It's interesting. It's not gross. Sorry. Wasabi ginger. Apparently these are kettle cooked instead of normal chip cooked. So they'll probably um, launch small missiles of chip at your gum line <laughs> as you try to eat. <laughs> and then they'll be like devastated when you're done. I don't know what's happening. Alright, get in there. You smell the ginger, but you smell like other weird... I can't really smell them in general. Pretty fucking delicious. Whoa! You think it's a what a magical journey. I like that it's kind of sweet. Got sugar on it. Not too much That's wasabi. Spicy. Hint of wasabi. Yeah. Oh, it's not that spicy at all. A little ting ting of ginger, whatever that means. Oh. I'm just lost like a quarter inch of my gum. <laughs> it's gone. It'll grow back. It's fine. Can't, can't get it. This is pretty good. If you like sushi pate. What's weird is that the the sushi chips we tried in the first episode, that was a sushi chip basically. Nori and salt. Oh yeah. So this doesn't this have nori. I know, but to an American, sushi is about ginger and wasabi and a little bit sweet soy sauce. To a Japanese, it's about accenting the nori and the fish with the bonito. So like, There's just an interesting, no, it's just an interesting difference. Because a Japanese person wouldn't do what I do and throw ginger on every single sushi that I eat, even though it's clearly not the intended purpose of the sushi. Yeah, but do it, it's fucking delicious. It's just supposed to cleanse the mouth or something after each. Cleanse the palate between each. But if you're eating like deep fried eel with cream cheese and whatever bullshit, you're not you're nothing to cleanse. You're just being a fat ass, no matter which way you go. Yeah. Right. But this is good. It's kind of refreshing with the ginger and the wasabi. It's amazing. I wish it was regular shit. Cooked as a kettle cup. I always feel like I'm at risk of serious bodily injury. Is there supposed to be fishy? Kettle, kettle cook. Is no, there there's no uh, fish products. Which is a shame because I think I don't know if that would help they're it or... catering to American taste at that point, which is fine because this is an American product, but well, it is delicious. If it had a little bit of fish, I wouldn't be upset because uh, that's what sushi is. A little bit of fish. Eight. I give it eight. I, I think know. it's equally as good as the other one, just different. Like this is for American taste. The other sushi chips are for America. Japanese taste. Can you give it? Eight. If you see the bacon, if you see the wasabi, and you like chips, try the chips. Give them a shot. The uh, finger looking ribs. I believe, if I remember correctly, we didn't lick our fingers. Those fucking assholes. I don't know. I didn't even think about it. Shut up! God damn it. This is what I have to fucking deal with. Alright. We'll have more uh, snack reviews that are a little more atypical instead of American ships. Meritypical. Maritime? Yep. Anyway, <laughs> so that's it for today. Uh, we'll be back with more food reviews, maybe this weekend. Yeah, Maybe. definitely this weekend. We've got a bunch of crazy ass, amazing stuff. Actually, it's pretty standard. And if you have any requests or stuff that you want us to, to try that you think would be funny, uh, please let us know in the comments below. Thanks for watching. I'm Jessica. I'm Steven. Next time, we'll murder the birds. So
just deal with this shit. Okay? <laughs> Bye. Bye. <laughs>